Hi, this is Aaron at ThinkBotLabs.com and welcome back. Now that we have the background and layers set up, we can start laying out our platform scene. What I suggest is use the image that showcased the sci-fi platformer tile set. This will give you some good ideas on how you want to lay out your scene if you don't already have some. Alright, so for this part I'm going to go ahead and reorganize my editor a little bit so I can get a better view of my tiles. I'm going to drag my project over here and expand all my tiles so I can see everything that I have to work with. I can switch back and forth from my tiles to my objects, get a pretty good view. So let's go to our tiles. Before we start setting up our um, tiles and our platforms, let's add an invisible wall to the left and right side so our player can't actually run off of it. So let's add a sprite. And we'll give it a box collider 2D. And let's reposition this over onto the left. And we'll adjust the size on this. It needs to be pretty large. Let's bring it up here. So when we play it, we we'll see it does cover the top. So that'll work out well. So let's just name this to wall or boundary. That'll work. And let's duplicate that and let's move it over to the right. Let's go ahead and make this a little icon on here so we can see them when we don't, when we don't have them selected. Alright, now let's play it and make sure that we can't uh, run off the side. Okay, and we should be good on the other side. Doo -doo -doo. All right, good to go. Let's go ahead and stop that. Now let's start adding some tiles in for the platform. This is where we get into vertex snapping. So I'm going to add another row directly below this. Kind of match our image right here. We have a a row underneath it, an acid pit. So I add another row using this tile. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can have a better look. Up here in the controls you can select uh, the vertex to move it around. But also what you can do is you can hit the V, hold it down, and we can select one side of it. So I want to grab one corner of it and pop it or snap it into place to the other sprite. I'm just going to duplicate this, and move it over, grab my vertex, and snap it in place. This makes things really easy when laying out your sprites because you get the, the perfect spacing, everything is clamped right next to one another. So I'm just going to move some more over. Gonna select these guys right here and just snap it in. Well, I don't need to resize it, I'm just gonna move it. that off. Cool. All right, I'm going to grab all these tiles and I'm going to drag them into our into our player layer. All right I'm going to start building up the rest of my scene uh, using these tiles and this image as a reference. I probably won't set it up exactly like this. Uh, this image is way too narrow for a nice little level um, but it does give us you know a good idea we want a little acid pit to jump over, saw blades and spikes. We need an entry door, an exit door, some switches. So I'm going to get started. <laughs>
and through the magic of video editing, um, my layout's uh, pretty much done for this part. Keep in mind what needs to be at the player layer and what needs to be in the foreground so that your objects can layer properly. Also within the same layer, don't forget about the order in layer so you can add a little depth in there as well. Even though that your objects aren't interactable right now, just go ahead and add them to the scene. Um, they'll help give you an idea of where you want things. All right, that's, uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Go ahead and continue to set up your scene, um, get it all laid out, and then the next um, video we'll start wiring up our interactable objects. Till then.